Hey, mister. I just want to be left alone, all right? A sentiment I'm familiar with. Fair enough, kid. Strutting around. Nose in the air. Holding hands with that dumb. Come on, kid. You care about this girl? Stand up for yourself. She'll come around. Yeah? I've been waiting. Trust me, kid. There ain't so many good men out there. Make yourself one of the good ones. Thanks, mister. I hope you're right. You wait, Lily Mae. Well, someday, I'll show you. I'll be rich. A nice big house. You'll be begging me to court you. Uh, Lily Mae. Oh, maybe I'll just stay here forever. Waste away like some fallen leaf. Crinkle up. Wouldn't that be nice? Come on. Can't loop around here all day. March along. <laughs> Didn't mean to interrupt. Last chance to walk. Yeah, that's why I saw. Okay, if there ain't no convoy coming through. All right, go for it. We're gonna make you a killer, boy. Let me try another one. Ain't no one coming down the road. All right. Go ahead. No count move coming back.
But they got it trapped in the barn there. Okay. Hold your side! I am holding it! Hold it's yours! Get back! We got a cursed creature in here! Oh, yeah? It's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat. <laughs> it looks like a lion to me. That's a dog in there. A dog? Now, if you'll excuse me. Step aside. What? I said, step aside. Yeah, boy. Didn't look like no dog. Come here, boy. Let's go. I pray that thing's a goner. Whoever owned that beast got some answering to do.
Let's go, girl. Odysseus returns! Sally, get the cages ready! Yes, sir, Mr. Market, right away! A man-eating lion. You didn't think that it might be useful for me to know that this time the animal was actually real, you moron? Steady on. I clearly stated that we were looking you for... You haven't clearly stated anything in all the time I've known you. That could have been a goose for all I knew. A goose will hardly get them to their feet for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand, and they feel the roar. And they, well, look about as surprised as you do. What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell! This is rum, old boy. Well, it was him or me. Now, pay me. Yes, of course, of course. I have just the thing. And what a treasure it is! You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky man. From the mines of El Dorado, as green as the rainforest, as clear as the Amazon, and as dear as all the gold in the Andes. One man's labor is but a trifle compared to this jewel's true value. Wait! I shouldn't. What would Daddy say? Your Daddy ain't here, and we had a deal. Yes, of course. A promise is a promise. Sally, get the wagons moving. Ain't we waiting for the line? He's in the great hunting ground in the sky. Good day, sir, and thank you. But we really must be getting along. Yeah, I won't keep you. So long. Yeah. So long, Mr. Morgan. Next time you see me, I'll be topping the bill, I promise. Or at least I'll be on the bill. My girl.
Easy, fella. What cargo are you bringing through Good. here? Easy there. Easy. I'm trying to get Move these supplies through, to the federal building. We just looking for cargo me. here. Federal ain't got no authority here. Boy, you best be going. The Lamorne right. Raiders holding this Let road. Let go. You're gonna have yourselves a problem. This ain't no. Push up. Real shame what they're doing to folk. I'm sick of this shit. Hey now, I, I don't need to be part of this. Oh God. Oh God. God damn. Yep. Hello, Arthur. Like your new home? I won't miss that other place, that's for sure. Keep your nose clean. Arthur. You going fishing? Yes. Or running off to Como Driscoll? Of course not. I was joking. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> yes, yeah, very, very funny. I saved your life, and now you torture me. Ho, ho. Shut up. Do you want to go fishing with me? I, I found an interesting spot. We'll do well. I'm not a great fisherman. But I am. <laughs> I'll teach you something. We come? Sure. All right, then. Grab your horse and let's go. Don't tell me you changed your mind. Okay, follow me. Now, I was saying something. Oh, yeah. I know a great little fishing spot along the beach. Who'd have thought it? Wasn't that long ago I was tied to the back of your horse while begging for mercy. Now we're off fishing together. Uh, how do you know I ain't just looking for a good place to drown you? Because, because I saved your life, Arthur. Uh, you keep saying that, but I save your life every day I don't kill you. So we are more than even on that front. Come on, you don't mean that. You better believe I mean it. Now, where's this spot? Uh, not much further.
This is the place. Some beautiful smallmouth here. Bass? Sure. This strip of shore looks perfect. Make us... Hot. Seeing lots of bluegill and bass over here. Bait with worms or crickets if you got them. Otherwise, maybe some bread or cheese. Are you giving up on me already? You getting many bites there, O'Driscoll? I ain't an O'Driscoll. I told you fellas a hundred times. I only been with them a couple of months. I was just a runner, helping out with the horses mainly. Bottom rung of the ladder. And to think that was the high point of your career. Comb goes through men like cigars. They ain't like you folks. You barely knew my name. I'm more Kieran Vanderlyn than Kieran O'Driscoll at this point. Honest to God. Mostly I'm... I'm Kieran Duffy. I hate to break it to you, but I ain't sure Kieran Vanderlyn is gonna stick. Not too fast, you could break the line. Nice. Good catch, Arthur. Now see if you can hook another. So, you think Dutch trusts me now? <laughs> That's a good one. What? Not in the slightest, my friend. I can't win. I promised loyalty, he says, but you wasn't loyal to Comb. If I say I ain't got no allegiance to nobody, he says, how do I know you won't turn on us then? I don't know what you want to hear. I'm trying hard to feel sorry for you, but somehow I, I just can't manage to. What in the world? Arthur, are you seeing this? The feather's naked as a jaybird. Is that why you like this spot? My lord. There's somebody who needs to go to confession. Hey, watch the line! Oh, hey! I nearly gulped down a minnow. Sorry, fellas. Didn't see you there. Why don't you take a break? Come on in. The water's wonderful. I reckon we'll leave you to it. Just don't scare all the fish. Oh, just so you fellers know, there's some real big ones over that way, like this. Well, I better keep the blood pumping. Hope you gents catch something. Yeah? Maybe we'll take a look. Thanks. I know where that is. Oh, come on, let's go. Well, hope you don't freeze. Hey, wait up! I'm ready when you are.
I think this is the place that naked feller was talking about. Did you see that amazing bluegill? Sure. That got you real excited, huh? Come on, Arthur. L let's walk down to the beach. I hope we land this monster. Uh-huh. It ain't easy to catch a fish like that with bread and cheese, but uh, you never know. We might get lucky. Guess we'll see. Get after that bluegill, Arthur. So who taught you how to fish? My pappy, mostly. I, I lost my mammy and pappy when I was young to cholera. Your mammy? Like I said, I was real young. After that, I was on my own pretty much, but I knew horses and fishing. Well, uh, just think now you'll never be alone again. You got it. That has got to be the one, right? It might be. He's putting up one hell of a fight. Nice catch. But that's not the big one we saw. See? Look at this. Life ain't so bad. At least you ain't tied to a tree. I'm still a prisoner, Arthur. I can't step outside camp by myself for a second without being terrified of one of Combs boys is gonna come pick me up. When I'm in camp, I got Bill and Sadie whispering in my ear all the time how they're gonna kill me in my sleep. It's like living in a nightmare. Christ. If I'd known you were gonna moan this much, I'd have never have said yes to this. You got the big one there. Not sure, but he feels big. No, that's not it. I don't think we have much chance. We need better bait. You might want to see if the stores around here sell anything better. I think I'm gonna head back to camp, Arthur, if that's okay. Sure, go on, I'll see you later.
Mr. Morgan. Hey, Arthur. Miss Karen, all good? Too good. I'd like the chance to shoot a fella and not feel bad about it. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Stay alert. What are you doing? Going fishing. The river's around here, famous for the smallmouth bass. Fella I met showed me a couple spots. You want to join me? Ah, I can't fish with you. You're far too good. Oh, come on, come on. Hey, join me. I'll show you a couple of my tricks. There's a spot not too far from here that I've been wanting to try out. Glad you're so excited about this. You will be too when you start pulling out smallmouth. Come on. Okay. The fish should be hungry for their dinner. I thought you said it wasn't far. Too far to walk, though. Yeah, come on. Hold. Yeah. Been a while since we rode out, just you and me. Probably since we went looking for John on the mountain. Uh, yeah. Already seems long ago. How you feeling about everything? Been a strange couple of months. Hey, you know, I can't even return to my country because the price on my head is so big. This, this is nothing exactly new to me. And I'll always be loyal to Dutch. He sees the world the same as I do. If we have to fight, we fight. If we have to run, we'll run. If we must die, we'll die, but we'll stay free. And Dutch, you... You don't feel like, well... That he's doing things a little differently now? You saw what happened with that girl on the ferry. No fight, good or bad, is one without blood. I know that better than most. I think too many people are focusing on Dutch when they should be looking at themselves. What they could have done better. Uh, maybe you're right. We'll cut through to the right here. Easy. Yep, yeah. The other day, I rode down to the Lanahatchee River. I caught some beautiful steelhead trout. You mean the Lanahatchee River? No, 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 no. The, the Lanahatchee. It runs right near here. Yeah, but it's pronounced Lanahatchee. Why is everything in English said differently than it's written? Make us feel stupid? Oh, you're asking the wrong feller. Okay, it's just down the hill here. Tranquilizate. What's wrong, Arthur? Okay, come on. Go try our luck. Pretty country. <sighs> Beautiful. Come on, let's go see what's biting. You take this spot, Arthur. I'm going to cast from over to the right there, so we're not in each other's way. of day really can make a difference. They feed early morning or late evening because that's when the insects are more likely to be out. We're lucky we got such nice weather. But rain can be good. Sometimes big fish think the raindrops are insects.
Okay, let's try for another. Well, I guess it's still relaxing even if I don't catch anything. Sort of like staring at the sky. It's your bait, I think. Come use some of mine. Oh, no, it's not the bait. It's me. I've always been a poor fisherman. Especially compared with you and Jose. Just try some of mine. Here. Crickets. Thanks. Thinking. You remember that stagecoach we held up in Nevada? Yeah. It was a tip from that crooked lawman in Reno. We opened the door and it's full of women and children. Rich, but women and children. So we let it go and read in the newspaper that the O'Driscolls robbed and killed them all the next day further down the trail. Yep. You know, way back in the day, Homo Driscoll and Dutch were sort of friends. Friends? Well, not friends, but they had an understanding. Then Combs Main Street got meaner and Dutch. Dutch wanted to try to live a different way. And now, here we are. Another one. This is an angry one. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. I heard people talk about a huge smallmouth in Lake Owen west of Strawberry, over in Big Valley. You need a lure to catch one that big, though. Make sure he's tired before you reel in. Another one. Come on. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. He's small, but might make a nice meal. Lucky. Getting close to nightfall. Fish will stop feeding soon. Let's catch a couple more and then head back. Hey, our bag is getting full. to the left as he goes right. Just the bait. I'm gonna head back. You wanna join me or uh you keep trying for these bastards? I'll come. Okay, let's go.
coming in. You're alive. Good. Mr. Morgan. <laughs> All right. Big rim shot. How about you keep me company? Hey, I didn't tell Dutch about the little diversion on our supply run. Why not? I'll fight any time and any place. Yeah, and that's the problem. <laughs> okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay, for the Parisian chorus. I'm fine. I'm feeling a little, you know. <laughs> I always wanted a boa. <laughs> a fancy boa I could dance with. It's all I want. If I had a boa, I'd be a happy woman. I'd, I'd be a lady. I'd. I'd Finally be a lady! <laughs> you make a great lady. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna be a little bit... Yeah. Freely given. I am reminded of Prometheus. In many ways, the Greek myths are best in explaining the very punishments that imbue our daily existence with their piquant tortures. Sure, we can have fire. And we can have the knowledge of fire. But with that comes the knowledge of everything. We become like a god. Because to be all powerful is to be all suffering. Yeah. Thus, Prometheus gave us light and warmth and eternal damnation and the awareness of our isolation for everything holy. Quite the conundrum fire. It's enough to make a man drink. Or worse. Hi there. We should go fishing again soon. That was fun. Yes, I needed that. To clear the mind after everything. Yep. You must be nervous, being this close to the water. Oh, don't you start. I'm <laughs> just looking out for you. You okay? Hello, Arthur. You gonna help out around here? Jesus, you never let up, do you? Just do your share, okay? Yep, okay. There he is. Hello. You know, this camp ain't so bad. Not bad at all. I love that song. Pearson? The big man! I remember when you were Dutch's number one, Miss Grimshaw. You just love to hear your own mouth. Or. You are one tough old boot, ain't you? Just what is your problem? Don't worry, I'm just playing with you. Oh, why don't you go mess with someone else? Ah, 
Herr Morgan. Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Sharking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice do we have, Mr. Morgan? Uh, I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> Wind homes. I didn't expect to run into no one out here. Hmm. Funny how far a man's debts will follow him. You got some money for me, boy? I seen your name in our ledger. You're with the German? Look, I, I got it for you. It's just, I don't got it yet. It it's up in them hills. Hmm. You panning for it? Hunting it. I tracked this cougar. It's rare. Lily white coat, the pelt to more and cover what I owe. If I'm skinning anything, I'm skinning you, boy. Please, I'm out of work. 
It's the only way you'll get paid, and, and all the hard work's already done. Fine. Move. We'll, um, uh, need our horses. It's, um, quite a trip. Yeah, yeah. Drive, boy. Let's get where we're going. Drive. Okay, follow me. Drive. I'm driving. Make me come out here, make me chase all over this goddamn mountain. Hey, you knew it was a risk. I didn't know nothing. Your name is all I knew. Well, the German-speaking fellow then, Mr. Strauss, he knew my work situation was precarious, that this whole thing was a, a risky venture. Wait, risky? I mean, I at risk now? Are you threatening me, Winton Holmes? I ain't. No, certainly not. Sir, I'm... I'm merely stating a man without a job, with limited prospects, at those rates, repayment was by no means guaranteed. I said I'd do my best, and I did. You're continuing to annoy me. We're going right here. Up the stream. <laughs> hey, how about this then? I guarantee you be paid. Because I'm going to get that money out of you. If I got to squeeze you like a lemon, it's coming out. Yeah, of course. We're on to it now, okay? We're on to it now. The cash is in that cougar, mister. Sure as pumpkins ain't cauliflowers, the cash is in that cougar. It better be. Or I'll turn you into a goddamn cauliflower. Up here. We ain't too far now. What I know about cats, this one's rare as hen's teeth. I mean, you ever seen an alabaster wildcat? Big thing about cougars is they see you. Not the other way around. That may be, but you see this one. I've been hunting with my pa. Shot all kinds of cats. Never one like this. In another life, I'd have sought my fortune outdoors. Not in the hot, stinking belly of a tar pit. I ain't interested in your regrets or your life story, Mr. Holmes. Just your damn money. Drive. Her den. We should leave the horses. Whoa there. All right. Show me. You'll see. Here soon. Quiet now. Won't be able to miss her shining in the dark. You hear that? There's a cougar in here. And I bet she's white as virgin cotton. The tunnel diverges up here. I'll take the left, you go right, and we'll see if we don't converge down a ways. And look out for her. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
What? That'll be rare. Horse, your man ain't coming. Trying to live the simple life. Hey, move it already. Howdy. Lucky this is popular, how common it is.
Yep, yep, yep. Let's get. Here. Okay, then, girl. Thanks, partner. Visitors, amuse yourselves. We are a simple mountain town for people who believe in a better, wiser, kinder America. <laughs> yep. Let's go. I got places to be. An oasis of culture and civilization in the West. American ingenuity. <laughs> European sophistication. Blame. You ain't a tourist, so I'm guessing you're about to Is there something hunter. wrong with your head? Hunters usually go up on that wall there. Oh, here at West Elizabeth. <laughs> Look at you. Word is, he's made a home out of an old mine up in the Big Valley Mountains. But you might want to leave that one on the wall. Okay. Joshua Brown. Give it to me. He's a killer. Got away with it for the most part, too. Legal kills. But if you walk that line, you're going to step over it at some point. And that way he done. This man's dangerous. Why I got to bring him in alive? He brought us some bounties in the past, and he's always been decent. If you don't want to bring him in breathing, you leave this alone. Happy hunting. Welcome one. Welcome all. You all right, girl? Are you gonna give me the chance to redeem myself, or what? I know I got you beat this time. Let's put some money on it, huh? What do you say? Fine by me, friend. Fine by me. Good. Okay, let's do this. You know how this goes. The one who shoots the most bottles wins. Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready, all right? <laughs> Man. Oh, come on! And a 
after all that practice. Not enough, I guess. That was just a one-off, man. A fluke. Let's go again. Desgraciado! What are you doing? Ah! <laughs> Dead in. <laughs> you got nowhere to go, bounty hunter. I ain't here to kill you. <laughs> Wouldn't matter if you were. There's only one way out of here, and that's through me. Come easy. I'll say something to the law. <laughs> it ain't gonna be easy. You're gonna have to draw on me to get me out. You might have found me. But you won't beat me, bounty hunter. Come on, girl.
So, what do you got for me? You're coming with me. Comfortable enough for you? Okay, my girl. You shot me. You didn't even have a decency to do it right. You duel a man and you ought to put him down. Not knock him out and tie it. A man with a bullet in him, you talk a lot. Stay sharp for very long. None of us do. Take a nap, old man. <laughs> I wish you killed me back there. Hey, he looks heavy. Can we take that bounty off of you? I can manage him fine. I don't deserve this. I deserve to go out with some damn honor. I live by the gun, let me die by it, damn it. That's what I don't deserve to have to listen to this. Here we are. Strawberry. I hear the cells here are really comfy. You trying to be winsome, bounty hunter? Always. I'm a regular charmer. Well, come on. Got Brown here. Ah, Mr. Brown. Come on now. Make him comfortable downstairs. Lock me up. Forget about me. Now, leave me to my peace. Pays right here. You make you work for it? He dueled me, so I'd say that's a yes. <laughs> Lucky you're still here. Lucky? Thanks.
that devil up. You're going down now. Sorry, can't right now, friend. <laughs> to pass through the eye of a camel and no mistake I want to talk to you today Oi. about the great miracle of holy passion yes passion passion is what drives us all it is what drives me it drives me to serve you, to bring you the great news. The great news that you are saved today. If only you will follow me and do as I say, so we can spend eternity together. Hello, mister. Hello, sir. Do you want to be saved? Yes, desperately. Well, that's wonderful news. You are. That's really all there is to it. Just do more good things and less bad ones, and we can be together for all of eternity. You and me? Yes. Forever? <sighs> Great.
Hey, get yourself out of there. You don't want to see what happens if you don't leave. You're about to get Nobody shot. Nobody needs to die here. What a joke. Hey there, can I have a word? You're done for! This? I just came across it myself. Guess I ought to turn to someone and report this. Stop! Or I'll kill you. Ah! where you are. Just looking to pass through. That's it. You must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. Just walk away, you nosy idiot.
never gonna get the hang of this. Gwen Hughes? Start picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't... I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody. That casket for you? Or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I can get it for you. But, uh... Uh... Come with me to the churchyard. And stay close. Hmm? Alright. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh... Well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I, I guess, I guess, I guess you you're correct, but, uh, this, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well... The morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. <sighs> okay. You head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Damn it! There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them off, and, and I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. Don't be shy. Don't Ain't no one around. Just my auntie. Your auntie. You two might want to find somewhere a little more private. We was fine until you got here, mister. Good day now. Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy! Ma'am, would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. All clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, this exhumation. Okay. It's, uh, good of you to be doing it out of hours, I guess. I'll come back in the morning. things. Sure would. Uh-huh. Yep. Get the hell out of this churchyard. Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're gonna lick you, bastard. Uh, uh, you gonna get a whooping. Uh, you gonna get it.
Well, here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Well, this'll do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Can't believe it's come to this. All right, well, uh, I'm out of here. That, that's more than than clear what I what I owe you. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. <laughs> Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good, honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Archibald? How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. 
This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course! Who else would be? But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That bed rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon? Dear me, that don't look good. Oh. Come on, mister. Keep your eyes open. Oh. This must have happened recently. Mm. Damn blind. Hey, I come have a look at this. Before. You could try washing once in a while. Deputy, get over here, please. Look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Do you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor fella. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Yep. Not the nicest fellers in my experience. Go right at the crossroads. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. Bear right again here. But drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. 
selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't. Oh. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaite's, I think. Anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up, then take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. Oh, handle this. Well, the way I said... Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take the right. Let's stop these filthy, degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. A fine idea. Hush. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it, Deputy Williamson. Get the rider, and I'll round him up later. Get the other one. You wait here. I'll deal with him. Okay. Make it quick. Let's gather them up. Just drop him with the other. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so, real funny, tell me about the... <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear.
We got men over here! You go to secure here! and get out of here. Fine by me. Forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it. For personal consumption, it's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. 
My cousin, Webster. He used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move it. We have a life it. It. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Yeah. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay, on my word. Set, go! You never were much of a rider. We'll see about that. so good at running away, Arthur. Oh, I never knew Agent slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're... I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. There 
he is. The man who saved... Hey, can this wait? I'm kind of busy right now. If you're such a busy man. Hello, Ivan. So you got a plan for that moonshine? I'm working on it. Okay. Karen likes a man in uniform way Arthur. I hear it. <laughs> How are you? Alive. And you? Fine. Let me ask you a question. If I was to kill Miss Grimshaw, would Dutch be mad? I think, as a general rule, Dutch likes to avoid murder within the camp. I mean, there was that one time, but he was a traitor. But Miss Grimshaw, well, Dutch has a soft spot for her. I thought as much. Well, she always like this. I ain't quite old enough to know. <laughs> no, of course. So as long as you've known her? She's always liked her swill of vinegar. I'd like to give her a swig of arsenic. We'll just do it discreetly. I will. You fancy a game of dominoes? Sure, why not? If I'm playing with you, she'll leave me alone. Can't believe the dominoes survived Blackwater, but my necklace didn't. Oh, yeah. I thought something looked different. Well, I stole that one. I'm sure I can steal another easy enough. <laughs> I'll keep my eye out for you, too. Nothing on this one. Hosea and Dutch have got that twinkle in their eyes again. That usually means trouble. Huh, <laughs> yeah. There, but all for nothing. Great. I got Domino here. Get out of here. That's not too bad. Well, you ain't gonna be too excited, I'm afraid. If the Pinkertons could see you now, killer, bank robber, dominoes player. Well, you gotta keep them on their toes. Not the way you wanted to get arrested, though. Imagine the newspaper headlines. Well, keep your eye out then.
but nothing. Domino. Okay. I've got nothing. Yes! It wasn't that bad. Hey, Tilly. Let me know when you want to lose that dominoes again. Okay. What do you think of the place? I don't know. So far, it seems okay, I guess. I think that there is rich pickings for some carpetbaggers like us. <laughs> is that what we are, is it? Avenging your father's death after 30 years? There's gold, Arthur. Gold. If you say so. Is a clam in high water. Good. Ah, uh, Mr. Morgan.
You gonna pass out in your own shit again? You don't even ask. Well, keep your chin up. Find it like this, it'll be quite much better. You're a useful fella to have around. Not everyone would agree. Like who? Bill, for one. Room here by Bill the fire, Arthur. Like nobody who's tougher or smarter than him. Ain't that right, Arthur? Quite right. Which means you don't like many people at all. Except for maybe that Kieran. <laughs> <laughs> See? You learn quick. You behaving there, O'Driscoll? I'm not no Driscoll, sir. Sure. <laughs> How are the horses? Okay. Uh, I mean, well, but they could be better. I'm worried. They, they, they've been through a lot. If I had some burdock root, just a couple, uh, I could knock up a poultice, could keep them well, and cure some ailments. Burdock root? Yes, yes, that, 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 that works best. Okay. If I see some, I'll bring it you. Well, thank you, sir. <clears throat> All of you! Get to work. This is fine country. Rich country. So get to work, all of you. We can do well and fine here for a while. They will not think we came this way. So get to work. We still need money. Lots of money. Get to... All right, guys, that's the end of the stream. That's the end of the stream. I hope you enjoyed the good old Arthur Morgan out there on the frontier. Trying, our best to be a, trying his best to be a good man. Again, guys, I want to thank you guys for tuning in, hanging out. hope you enjoyed it. Don't be afraid to like or subscribe because this small, small channel can use your help. Take it easy now. Yep.